Welcome everybody to another edition of Games for Cheap Bastards. Uh, Kuzinator here. We're playing a game called Spiral Knights. Uh, Spiral Knights made by, um, I think it's called a Three Rings Media? Three Rings Design, that's who it is. Um, and it's published by Sega. Um, how I found Spiral Knights? I, I found Spiral Knights actually during Steam's big winter sale. Um, you know, they were doing those achievement things to where if you got a certain thing in Spiral Knights, you got a lump of coal or whatever. Anyway, that's how I found um, Spiral Knights. Um, Spiral Knights, is, like most of the other games I'm covering in this series, is a free MMO. Um, you can access it through Steam, and it's absolutely free. Um, as you can see, the way it works is I've started a new character. The way it works is it's a top uh, third person over the head look. It moves, it plays similar similar to like uh, Diablo in a sense or Zelda where you're just kind of going around and you're fighting and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to do the tutorial real quick and maybe do a dungeon real quick to show you kind of a basis of Spiral Knights. So use the left button to move. Um, so yeah, you can use the mouse button to move. I'm using left click right now. Or you can use WASD like most games. And your guy always faces the direction of your cursor. Um, but yeah, I play with WASD. You can play with whatever one you want. Uh, to fight, you use the Z key, which is lame. So I just right click. It makes a lot more sense. Get these trees that way. Yeah, yeah. Look out, up ahead is a pack of wild jelly cubes. So yeah, the way this game works is, like I said, you it's more of a it's more of a cooperative game than a PvP game. So you're mostly working with other people to um to really uh beat dungeons and get loot and all that cool stuff. You can cycle through weapons with spacebar or mouse wheel. Now you get two weapons. You get your sword and shield, and then you get a cool little gun. Um, in Spiral Knights, there's not really a set class. You're not like a healer. You know, there's not that typical tank, healer, DPS type role that you normally get. Um, there's just you just level your equipment. You don't really have skills or anything like that. It's all based off of what weapons you decide to level up. So, anyway. Let's see. These Chroma Whelps had... Yeah, I already took them out. So, like I said, it has a Zelda-type aspect to it, because you got, you know, got to hit the little switch from far away. Um, for me, I've played... I've put maybe about 15 hours into... Spiral Knights, so I haven't played it a lot, but, well, that's a matter of opinion. But, you know, it's it's a pretty fun game. So far what I've, you know, it's very entertaining. Um, sorry, I got distracted, gotta find that button. Um, the way loot works, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. Once I get through the tutorial, I'll explain it a little bit better. But you get all this money. See, I'm, I keep picking up crowns, which you can see up here. Um, and yeah, it's a, you use that to buy stuff. Normal. They have an auction house, which I will show you as soon as I get out of this stupid tutorial. But it's pretty simple. I mean, it's you can die pretty easily in this game. I have a couple times in different dungeons, but you know, it's not a it's not a high skill, not necessarily a high skill game. Rescue camp. Let's do this. Oh, so this is how your equipment levels up. You can buy new equipment, and then whenever you beat a dungeon, you collect heat, which is those little those little dots that you pick up and that levels up your items and I think they go up to level 5 for the beginning weapons. They might go up higher, maybe 8. I can't remember exactly. Um, so here, I'm out of the tutorial area. Now I'm in the crash site. New missions available. Oh, 
ignore that. Um, basically, they're going to show you your first dungeon. So, why don't we go ahead and do that? So, at this point, you interact with a bunch of people. So, yeah, this is a weird game. Um, I don't know why it's called Spiral Knights. I think it's called Spiral Knights because you can do this. And so whenever I'm playing, I just spin around. That's one of the fun aspects I have of it. I consider that the reason why it's called Spiral Knights. Um, Alright, let's see what my mission is. Alright, let's see. I clicked something. So let's see what it does. The Abandoned Depot. Party Lobby. So, um, this game is played cooperatively, so if you have a bunch of, you can have a bunch of people, and it'll, you know, it, it'll, you're in a team. I gotta talk off. Um, you're in a team with other people. Um, if you don't have friends, then they'll just add people to them. These things are the way they increase your life because they don't have levels, so they just increase your life by these little soda can things. So, this is where they get you. This is why this is a free MMO. This right here shows that you need 10 energy. I've got 95. So like like some of the other games like Dragon Nest and whatnot, you have a certain amount of energy and you can only do so much energy in order to go into dungeons. Well, in this game, you know, you need 10 energy, so that's... I have 95, so it's going to cost me 10 energy to do this. So we all clicked yes, and we're going down. So every level, think of it kind of like a um, like a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon or an Azure Dreams, if you've ever played that, where there's multiple, multiple levels that go down in a dungeon. Um, or uh, Estrian Odyssey, or something like that. There's multiple levels, and you can only d go down a certain level before you have to reach a requirement, and I'll explain that later. Um, so now I'm in a team. Um, this is kind of a tutorial dungeon. We're all working together. Usually people take different roles. Um, usually someone's a shooter, someone's a swordsman, so that way you're not just doing everything. You know, everyone's running in and getting their butts handed to them. Um, as far as loot goes, everything like money and loot is typically shared with everyone. So if you pick it up, it's not like someone doesn't get it. It's shared with everyone. So he's picking that up and I got it too. Um, it will tell you at the bottom left when you picked up some special loot, who gets it and who gets what. And that's mostly used for crafting, which I will show later um, as soon as I get out of this dungeon. Um, it has an in-game mic set. That's why I had to turn it off, because I was just talking to everybody. Um, but the game's pretty straightforward. Um, the levels get hard. They can get very hard, and you can face some really difficult people. Hey, look. Two health. Haha. <laughs> um, you can power up your ability, kind of like Zelda. You know. Oh. I'll help everyone out. Alright, here we go, some more. So you gotta really learn how to dodge. Because the thing is, whenever you die, um, whenever you die, the problem is it costs energy to revive you. And the more you die, the more energy it's gonna rev cost you. So, you'll run out of this energy very quickly, and that is one of the downsides I find to this game, is it's quick. Like, you, you can enjoy the game, you can get with your friends, and it's something you can enjoy for maybe 30 minutes to an hour. But after that, you're going to be out of energy. Or one person's going to be out of energy. And once one person's out of energy, then that means um, you, you can't go into any more dungeons. Which is very disappointing. Your your game's pretty much done for the day, and of course, you know you get your energy back periodically. But it's it's one of those where you have enough for the day, and then you bet you're better off just coming back in 24 hours to get enough energy. 
And I think that's really, really, really where th this game lacks, is the fact that, you know, you don't really have a lot of time. You don't really get to spend a lot of time in this game, which this game is a great game. Like, it's fun. I mean, you, you can talk to everybody, you can go through, you get loot, you fight, there's bosses. It's not just, I don't know if we'll fight a boss in this beginning tutorial, but you, f you face do uh, bosses and all sorts of stuff. Um, the other downside to the game is that is that the the same energy that's used to go into dungeons is also required in order to is also required to craft. So say I get enough stuff, say um, use that also means it limits your game to one day you're going to be going in the dungeons getting loot and then the next day you're just going to use it to craft because in order to get good equipment you might need 50 energy or 80 energy to really get the good equipment so it really really puts a limit onto what you can do um you know it it literally when i was playing this actively um I would only have one day where it's like, okay, we're going to do two or three dungeons, or go down a couple levels, and then, you know, th that's it, I'm s I'm stuck. Um, I got I got to come back, and the next day, I'll, that's when I'll do, uh, that's when I'll do, um, that's when I'll craft, because you, you don't really have a choice, they don't... I mean, the choice is obviously you can spend money. You can spend money to buy energy, of course. And I guess if you really wanted to m make this your MMO, then yeah, that's that's gravy. But not a lot of people are going to do that. Um, and that's the purpose of the series, is to show you games where you can get the most out of the game. Alright, so this is an example of a somewhat of a boss fight. You're locked in. You fight wave after wave of en enemies until you get to a big one. We might not get a big one right here, but that jerk. All right. I can charge him a weapon. All right, next wave. Ah, there we go. There's a big dude. So you just got stunned. Or just stunned, you gotta dodge. Anyway, the game is, like I said, the, the gameplay is addicting. You want to play it over and over. And of course, they don't let you play it over and over. They only give you however much energy. And so you might spend one day crafting and the next day doing the dungeons. So they really make it to where you want to pay them money. But in the end, you know, for this se sake of the series, you don't want to pay the money. You don't want to. Yay! And see, look, now I'm at the level three. Sweet. You know, the other downside, of, I mean, there are ways to customize your character. Um, but, you know, because there's no different classes or whatnot, it's really kind of, you're really limited. Yay! I get all sorts of stuff now. Look at me. Alright, sweet. Okay, yeah, I'm done with that mission. Anyway, it, you know, everyone kind of looks the same. Once you get higher up and you get more weapons and armor and stuff, you'll look a little different, but for the most part, your person looks kind of the same. Um, so yeah, let me get to the main town. To do that, I think I have to go through one more dungeon, but let me talk to him. Alright, what do I have to do to do this? Oh, guess I gotta do this first. Alright, I'm on my way. 
Okay, sounds good. Now I can do it. Alright. Let's do this. So, um... Yeah, what else can I, what else can I show about Spiral Knights? Um... Th it's a little difficult whenever you have friends to really figure out where they are um, and to get them on your friends list. Um, one neat thing, one neat thing that they do do is they show you every morning. They show you from your friends list. Oh, here's all your friends. So and so has cleared this many dungeons. So and so has done this. So and so does this. And so it kind of pushes you to want to do more because you want to catch up. But at the same time, you usually can't because you're out of energy. So you're gonna have to spend money to get more energy. But hey, and. Eh, they want to just make a free MMO just for not to make any money, huh? Alright, so we'll do this dungeon and then we'll wrap things up. Yeah, that'll work, dude. Just just keep running. Just keep running into it. Yeah, so I'll just do this since they're just pussyfooting around. So see, they've got healer. They've got all sorts of different mobs. That little, that little guy right here, he heals everyone. So usually you gotta take them out first. Oh, come on, Kuzanir, that wasn't smart. And it's real easy to just switch through rolls. Real easy. Bam. Um, there are puzzles in this game. I mean, you've only got to... Oh! Where are they? And then sometimes you get idiots in your game. Did they go to the right? Oh, well, at least they went to the right. No, he's just standing there. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Oh, there's somebody. Yeah. Oh, he disconnected. Okay, cool. So he's not an idiot. He just disconnected. But yeah, they got different puzzles like this. They kind of go through. And you can make different weapons. Like, you can get a good weapon that, you know, is specifically good for um, slime. You can get ones that are, you know, really good at... have different elements. Like, they have fire and ice and all those different elements so that you know it's not one dimensional it's just oh the sword does a lot of damage there's some that gives you certain resistances so there, there, there's depth to the game it's not just oh this does that or you know you're a swordsman you're a gun slinger whatever there we go Yum, spiral knights this is why they're called Spiral Knights. There may be some story to this, but... Hey, look! What's up, dude? What's up? Spiral, Spiral Knights! Oh. Spiral Knights. Over here, dude. Um. Yeah. Usually, um. Ow. Yeah. If you if you're gonna play this game, you could try playing it with friends. 
Um, it's pretty fun. Um, especially if your friends know what they're doing. Because sometimes you can get just random people. And sometimes you can find really good people. Um, so I guess I'll tell you... A oh. um, so the way this also works is you can only go down to a certain level before you there's like a an equipment requirement. You can only do so much you can only go so far and then you have to have a certain number of equipment. You have to have like level two equipment or they have to reach a, your equipment has to reach a certain number. Um it's kinda similar World of Warcraft does something similar, I do believe. Um oh here's a yeah, there's one. There should be another block around here. Oh, there it is. Um, so you'll get to a certain point, and you can only you can only go so far. And it'll be like, hey, you need this equipment. And so, of course, in order to get set equipment, you have to craft it. In order to craft it, you know, you're going to have to... Oh, well, that sort of worked. you got to spend energy. So it could take a little while to get to the level that you need it to get to. Like on my other character, I still I I just got equipment to be able to go that far, and it took me like a week or so. So you'll devote some time to this. It's just not a lot of time every day. Not that much time at all. Hey, look, he found the switch. Whoops! Sort of lit him on fire. I'll protect you, disconnected friend. Whoops. Kind of missed. Sorry. Oh, okay. Didn't catch him on fire. <laughs> that was cool, so. Hey, look! Zombie disconnected, too. So the game requires some skill. I mean, you can't just charge in and do nothing. You have to move this way, move that way, make sure you're not hit, per se. Yeah, hey, yay, we're going home! And luckily, they don't charge you energy to go home. That would pretty much suck if they did. Sweet. I'm glad he helped out. Crossing the chasm. The journey to Haven. Ah, uh, yeah. So, they have a lot of different zones and servers, so it takes... When you're with your friends, you gotta make sure you guys all go to the same server, because it can get annoying being in a... I'm an apprentice! Sweet. Now I've got all these all these missions to do. Sweet. Anyway, I'll briefly show you the this the main town. Uh it's called Haven. So you've got all your different people you can talk to. Some of them give you quests. This is the this is the auction house. Um this is very uh, you you will most likely use it cuz it'll save you time if you're on a craft day from having to go run a dungeon to get that one like stick that you need or one alloy or something to make your weapons um they've got all sorts of people they've also got they've got plenty of they've got plenty of people who you know if you pay money or with these things energy or whatever you can get cool gear um then they got these stations this is what you need to build stuff um as you can see, I've already got new weapons just because, you know, I I did the missions. So now I've got a cool sword. Um, you have to, in order to make equipment, you have to buy recipes, which also cost crowns. Or you can skip that whole thing and you can just pay the money and buy it. Huh, how about that? 
So paying money gives you a, a big advantage because you can keep playing the game over and over and some people choose to do that. That is perfectly fine, but if you're cheap like me, yeah, I don't really want to pay money to a free game. I I prefer to, you know, keep it free. Freedom. So yeah, that's going to do it for this uh, episode of Games for Cheap Bastards. Um, Spiral Knights, let's see, what what would I review, what would I give Spiral Knights? I'll give Spiral Knights a 5 out of 10. Um, the gameplay is the only thing that gives it saving grace. I mean, the graphics look pretty good. Um, well, they look alright. It's very colorful, at least. Um, Playing-wise, it's a lot of fun to play. But, you know, you'll be in the middle of playing with someone, and you're out of energy, and it's done. And most times I've played with my friends, it's lasted maybe an hour. And... You know, that's good for the casual player, um, but if you're really looking for a serious free MMO to really devote some time to, this is not it. Not it at all. Um, unless you're willing to fork over some quiche. So, without further ado, that'll end it for this episode. Um, I'll, this is Kuzanator, and I will see you next time on Games for Cheap Bastards.